Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Before We Leave. I know it's been a little while since we've done a Let's Play on the channel and very quickly before we get into this I want to let you know why. Um, you may have noticed we've been doing daily Animal Crossing streams. Uh, it's basically because my wife has been retraining over here in Canada to become a paramedic again. She was a paramedic back in the UK but she's had to do lots of retraining over here uh, which means she's been out pretty much every day doing that and uh, with the lockdown my son's daycare has been closed so I've been at home with him every single day. It's been fantastic. It's been loads of fun having him here every day, but it means I haven't really had that much time to record videos. The window of the hour and a half to two hours he naps for is all I've been getting, so we've been live streaming every day. The live streams are going to continue because we're absolutely loving Animal Crossing at the moment, but if you're not really a fan of Animal Crossing, I apologize for not being, um, not having that much on the channel otherwise, but uh, Nicola's now all fully qualified. She's now gone to a shift rotor, which means I've got a bit more time in the daytimes where I can get back to doing um, some of Let's play. So this one's been on my radar for a long time. I actually got the key sent to me about a week ago. Uh, before we leave, it's a um, a non-violent, a peaceful city builder um, slash sort of planet s system. It's really interesting. A great art style. Lots of uh, lots of really good fun to look forward to in this one, I think. So um, let's dive straight in. I'm going to click on new game. Thank you to developers for heading over and sending me a copy of this one. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it comes into early access tomorrow. No, the 8th it comes into early access. Uh, it's an epic uh, store exclusive to start off with. Um, if you uh, are going to get it, you can use my uh, my handle, my gamer tag, my gamer code thing. I don't know. You'll find it in the description. Basically, if you type in Geekism when you purchase this, you'll get a little bit of a kickback to the channel and help us out, which is uh, which is very exciting. So um, we don't want the tutorial. I've played through the tutorial, so I've got a bit of an idea of what's going on. Although I don't know what guardians or anything like this means, so maybe not. Um, Returns all resources, yes, please. A population normal. I want everything pretty normal to start off with. Uh, okay, new game. There's the seed if you want to play along. Let's click new game. And here we go. It doesn't show us the whole planet, which is quite exciting. It has this really great sort of hexagonal um, gameplay, almost like a sieve kind of kind of gameplay here, a uh, game map that we're looking at, but really exciting stuff. And basically, we're going to have to get it set up. We've got to think about placements of uh, items. We've got to think about resources. So let's have a little look here. This this boat here uh, is going to allow us to sail uh, to other islands eventually. So we're going to be able to repair that boat. Uh, this ancient technology uh, is kind of our research, really. So we're going to be collecting this and researching it in a library in a moment. Uh, and then we've got a generator. We can turn that in for power. And then we've got our transmogrifier. This kind of uh, allows us to create tools from wood to start off with until we get some mines set up. Mines are going to be set up on these raised areas here. So we have a rusting hulk, that's uh, an iron mine. But, well, we can turn that into an iron mine. And these ones here we can turn into uh, a stone mines eventually as well and some more ancient technology. So uh, we've got a nice space over here where we could do some residential, I think. Um, and then we've got uh, and we've got the area up here. Now pollution is a thing, so we do have to think about pollution as we're getting started. Um, so we make sure we keep our residential houses away from the uh, from the main hub here. Now the main hub, the idea is, is that we've been underground for hundreds of years. We don't really know what the last civilization really looked like, um, but now the pollution has lifted and we are able to exit the uh, the bunker. It's a bit of a fallout thing going on, I suppose. Um, so we're going to bring a path down here to there. We can get a nice uh, set of five houses around there. I think that's probably the, a good way to go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. They'll be happy about that. Might have to maybe cancel out one of those. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, I might, I might actually just cancel that one out, actually. Sorry. I know you're half building it, but forget that one for now. Because we are going to have to have ways through. They do walk... Um, they will walk not on roads, but it really, really slows them down. So that's not something we necessarily want to do. Um, but we'll get some houses come up, and then we can have a few more than the uh, the six here that's currently available. There we go. It doubles up to twelve. So the way this works is each of these. Uh, oh no, no, I'm still on still on uh, break. Um, at the moment, each of these uh, gives us. Uh, space for one person I believe normally but then other things you do around them can can increase that so we look here um, we actually get a, a, a bonus peep in each of these because they um, 
because they all have one nearby them so if that makes sense right so you can also put like farms and stuff down if the farms are nearby them you get an extra food storage etc um, so we're gonna leave it like that for now but what we will do is put down a well 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 let's get a well down there to um this is like six all the way around there i wonder if we could put a well in the middle of that space oh no no we have to there has to be a road there okay all right that's fine we'll put a well down there and that'll look after those uh, and then we'll do a few farms uh, up the uh, up the side here i think so we'll do uh, two of those there and then we can do uh, potato fields uh, research is needed for for a lot of the other crops uh, but to start off with we'll make three potato fields there and that'll sort out some basic food for the houses there and then what you'll see is these uh, as these foods get built um they'll be able to store more food in them because the farms are nearby i think you'll see that pop up there there we go look so we know we can do uh extra field category one nearby extra drink storage. So we get a drink storage and a food storage from each of those which is quite handy but it uh, and we do from there as well but then we don't oh no we do from there as well oh there we do that's interesting. So there it's close enough, but there it isn't. Hmm. I wonder how they figured that out then. Maybe it's three. One, two, three. One, two. Hmm. No, you'd think it would, wouldn't you? Maybe it's how long the, the path is, perhaps? But still, that one would be closer, wouldn't it? Hmm. Who knows? Okay, moving on. Um, we've got uh, a, uh, a woodcutter. That's fine. So we can do that to set up uh, some wood cutting. I think there's probably a good spot nearby those uh, over there. Do we have any stone? We have no stone. So, eventually we can mine stone, uh, but to start off with, the easiest way to get stone, in fact the only way to get some stone, is to demolish some of those forest spots, actually. So, I think here's going to be definitely our sort of research spot with all this research down here. So, we're going to actually demolish those two there, and that's going to give us a little bit of stone to play with. I'm going to get rid of that one as well, uh, right behind the houses there, because that might be a little bit... Um, more useful as something else in the future. So we'll knock these down and basically this gives us, they literally give us one stone each um, but with that stone we're able to build um, a, uh, a library there. Look, three stone the library requires um, and we need the library to be able to research other stuff. So we'll take our road off this one a little uh, yeah, we'll do that, okay. And then we'll get some research. The way research works then is we're going to send explorers out to collect this ancient tech here. Um, this stuff. And then that stuff is then used in a library, turned into uh, basically a relatively standard research tree. So, explorer's hut. Um, we'll have that right... Well, we could go right there and then it's right by those two. Or we can go here and it's a bit closer to all three. Um... Uh, that'll do. We'll do that there, and then our library can go a little bit closer to the town. Uh, to the town centre. It's quite a nice sort of town centre building. Now, this kind of game lends itself to having optimal layouts, okay? This is the kind of game where you're going to be able to build these little sort of pod layouts where you're going to get the optimal amount of space for each people. You know, three houses together gives you bonus two on moving in. I'll tell you now, I'm not going to be playing like that. That's not how I like to play games. I like to play games creatively. I like to make things look pretty if I can, maybe look a little bit realistic. So we're going to be doing things like these little neighborhoods. We're going to be thinking about where the town center is and all that kind of stuff. That's just, I, I really struggle to play games like this um, sort of, uh, optimist optimistically is not the right word is it you know sort of basically with the optimized as much as possible because uh, I, I warn you now I say this now because I remember when I played Anno uh, 1800 on the channel I used to have a lot of people say well you're not using the space perfectly and I'm like no I'm not but I like making pretty looking fields <laughs> and that's how it goes uh, what's this telling me about we have no we have no stone we have we literally have three stone we have no stone where did the stone get used then did the stone get used for that, perhaps? So, in that case, we need to demolish three more forests. Well, that one right down the bottom can go, as can that one there, and then this one here. There we go. And they will give us the three stone. You see how slow they walk when they're off the path, look? Really makes a big difference. But they'll be able to knock those down, and we'll actually see. There we go. The stone now is... Oh, it is there. Well, I thought so. Maybe it just got, took a while to get delivered, I guess. Um, okay, so we can click here, and then we can start looking at uh, 
at some uh, at some research stuff. So it looks a bit weird. It goes elevator mining metal work. It sounds strange, but basically the elevator is going to allow us to come up to these cliff areas. Uh, and as far as I know, the cliff areas are the only place that these uh, these sort of mined uh, mineable areas are going to turn up from. So we basically have to go for elevator. We could build a warehouse to start storing some stuff up, but um, really to start getting some stone without having some break down all of those uh, forests I think we're probably better off uh, working on the elevator and that will probably come out of here I think looking at the layout um, that's technology is it okay so that's tech that's stone stone they're all stone and then that one over there is iron so yeah I think the best spot for uh, for the elevator here is gonna be that one there so we'll bring this out the path out ready and then as soon as this library is done, which it almost is, fantastic, we can now put in an elevator and we need three tools for the elevator. Okay, so that's where you're going to go once we've got the tools. Uh, eventually we're going to be able to mine iron and turn it into tools, but until then we need to, um, we need to use this little transmogrifier. Basically this is one of those... Uh, systems in the game the same as the tree is turning into one stone it basically means that you can't really run out of all the basic resources you can use uh, other methods instead to get them so what we're going to do is click that there it makes a horrible mess of a path uh, but it means we can click this button and 15 wood now is going to be turned into uh, five tools that means we can carry on now this is really messy so I wonder if we can actually take that path away now now it's not necessarily needed and turn that into something a bit more useful. Um, and what I'm thinking that would be useful there is that well, um, which then in turn, well no, because that actually acts as a path, so that well's not a problem there. I don't think we have anything else necessarily right now that needs to go down. Um, three potato fields are fine. Uh, Woodcutter's not a problem out of the way there. Um, okay, well I'm gonna leave that now, but that space will probably be useful for something in the future. Uh, okay, we're gonna speed up time a little bit. We'll get to hear some of the awesome soundtrack. Really beautiful uh, sort of shine on this game already. Even in early access, I think it looks great. I think it sounds great. Um, they're really doing a fantastic job with this one. Balancing Monkey Games are the developers. And, uh, and like I say, this one's been on the radio for a long time. Reached out to them and, uh, and they were more than happy to provide a key for me, which is fantastic. Um, okay, there we go. Elevators got built. Nice. Elevator's done, uh, which means we can now come up to this area here. So, we've got to remember, we've got to think about where the path is going to be, and there's only pretty much one route this path can go. So I'm going to take this path up to here, and then here we can get a, uh, a stone mine, which we are actually going to have to research. So, uh, here we go. Mining... Go for that. And then metal work. We might as well line metal work up because that's going to be important as well for creating tools. Um, they're going to get started on that again. We'll have a little speed up. Well, otherwise, we've got 12 people. I think probably another um, another thingy could be quite good. I wonder, can we... This tile is already occupied. I wonder if... Let's have a look. Can we put houses... No, it's a shame. Although it kind of acts as a path, it won't actually let us uh, put buildings off it like it is a path, unfortunately. But yeah, I think maybe another little um, neighbourhood would be a good idea, and maybe around these trees, uh, around, around these farm, near these farms here, we could get four, uh, four in. They'd be pretty good. So let's knock down that forest and put in a path there. And then when that goes, we'll put a path next to it as well. There we go. And then that'll give us space for four houses. There we go. And all of those will feed into each other. There's plants nearby. We should be popping here. This should give us 18, 22, 26. 26. Okay, cool. So all of these get a uh, plus bonus from being next to something. That one just gets... See, so these get plus two because they've got one either side of them or one near them. Those two, because they've got one either side of them, get two bonus houses. That one gets some plants near it as well. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's slow down a minute then, because we see what's going on. Uh, road's done up here now. That's good. And we've hopefully got our thingy researched. Uh, yeah, sorry. That's a weird noise outside. What's that? 
Hmm, I don't know. Very loud noise inside. Uh, all right, well, while they're working on that, we might as well start opening up repair, because we're going to need that soon. We're going to need all of these quite soon, actually. Okay. So now we can do a quarry that mines stone and an iron mine that mines uh, thingy. Now, these buildings do give off uh, pollution. You can see that sort of... I'm going to say purple. I'm quite colorblind, but I've got a feeling that's a purple line there. Um, purple's very often associated with poison and stuff, I think. So uh, we can put this here. This is going to be a stone mine, and that we don't have to worry about any pollution hitting us there, which is nice. So we'll put you down there, and you can get to that stone, obviously. And then here we'll put down an iron mine. That has a slightly bigger radar of poison. Oh, no, it's about the same, actually. That's fine. So we'll put you... So we could get away with you there. You're not quite touching the poison, but I think actually we're going to put you there. And that's an iron mine. So we've got the two mines next to each other, basically. And then over here, uh, we can put the smelter. Although, actually, now thinking about it, thinking about it, the, the smelter, I think, if I remember rightly, gives off more pollution than the iron mine. So we're probably better having the smelter a little bit further away from the tower, and that's better off being there. Because the, the pollution stops at the cliff's edge then, which is nice and safe. Okay, did that is that repair done? Okay, how about warehouse? Because we can start storing some stuff. Because at the moment we have very low uh, stores of everything. We can place a few warehouses down and we can basically pick what uh, gets stocked. Um, there we go. So we've got an iron smelter now, which turns iron ore into iron. And we've got uh, a, a, the toolsmith that basically turns iron in and wood into tools okay so both of those we need quite a few uh, bits of equipment and some tools as well so we're going to hold on until our warehouse is done i think so as soon as our warehouse is done we're going to be able to throw a couple of those down i already know where they want where i want them to go uh, warehouse i want them going that way because these take two spaces these interestingly but i want them to go there and there and we'll put two of them down and we can actually put two on the other side, basically, and have this run here so that resources can come from here pretty quickly and resources come from here pretty quickly and they can go out to where they need to uh, relatively swiftly as well. That's what I'm thinking. First stone made. Nice. Is that from there? There's 494 stone there. Let's keep an eye on that one. Uh, here, we're waiting on tools. We can't make tools at the moment, so we're going to have to create some more with the transmogrifier. Again, eventually we can not worry about that and have them uh, generated from over this area. But for now, Transmogrifier is going to have to pop them in for us because otherwise we're going to struggle. Uh, there's other plants and stuff available as well, other uh, farms later on uh, to give people more of an option of things they can eat and drink. Uh, I think it was tea I think I opened in the last one. It's pretty neat. Uh, in the tutorial, that is. But eventually, like I said, the aim is to get that boat, get that boat a sailing, and we need to repair that as well because we're going to need some power soon. So actually, we might click that. Let's say we're going to get a road connected to it, do we? Okay, well that can be our road there. Yeah, and we'll repair you once we've got some tools. That is. Uh, and that's going to be our generator. I don't quite know how the generator works. Oh, there's actually... Uh, oh, hello. Nice. Uh, there's actually pollution coming from that generator, which we've completely managed to fluke. Not hitting any houses. I didn't even realise that gave off pollution. That's really good. So that means we're, we're literally just on the cusp of that. That's cool. So our warehouses then. Let's have the one closest up here to collect wood, stone and tools. We can select as many as we like here, um, but the resources are, are sort of split equally. So we have three resources selected, so the total 120 means they can store 40 of each resource, okay? Whereas here for the food one, once it's done, um, which we're going to need more tools again, that's fine, which is quite a lot of wood. But never mind, hey? Because that needs two as well, so that's fine. Uh, Research-wise, we've got anything we can do. We can do gardening, that's going to give us the other... Uh, um, farm options which is cool we get some farms over here maybe by the coast that'd be quite neat but look at this what a cool art style and as we as we explore the island the uh, the planet later 
Uh, it does. It fills in a little bit, which is pretty neat. But I really love it. Love the love the hexagonal clouds. Look at that. Okay, so that one's done. So we'll say this can be our food and our drink um, storage. So we'll have our potatoes and our water stored in there. Pretty sweet. Elevators going. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? As it goes up and down. Whoop whoop. Nice. Garden research is complete. That's good. Uh, power supply. Oh yeah, really stinky power. Look at that. Wow we. Um, let's have a look. What's that? Causes some pollution. It does. Bonus is being uh, next to an empty space. Uh, one nearby empty tiles gives us two plus two wood storage. Three empty tiles gives us plus four wood storage. There we go. So it's worth keeping the area around that completely empty. That's really good to know. Uh, we have no tools in stock, but I don't think we need any just yet. Um, gardening's done, so I guess bridge and school. There's, I haven't seen these ones yet, so we'll, we'll click those. I don't know about that one. Um, we can repair this once we've got... We really need tools set up for this one, because that requires 25 tools. It's pretty insane. So, let's come down to here, then we can do um, iron, in, iron ore into iron. Whoops. And what do we? And it's tools again that we need, but yeah, this has got pretty, pretty wacky uh, level of pollution. Look, but if we put it there, again, we're just we're just out of reach of that house. It's about as perfect as we can get, really. And then the iron wood has that got the same kind of? That's not quite as intense, so we could put that there. Or I mean, obviously, the other thing we can do is we could bring the bring the road down that way a little bit, couldn't we? And then that'll make more sense. So the iron smelter uh, goes there, and the iron into tools can go there, and then we can take the path down there if we need to to get to some rusting hulk iron ore. Okay. So they can't be done yet. We need a few more tools from the transmogrifier, um, which will go there. Transmogrifier! I thought transmogrifier was turning like iron into gold. Or is that that transmute? Or is that transmutation? Is it? Oh, I forget there. Like alchemy, isn't it? I don't know. What was it? Hudson Hawk. The, 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 what's uh, Richard E. Grant was trying to get hold of? And Hudson Hawk. I'm showing my age there, and I. Uh, okay, cool. That's our school complete. I really don't know what that does. But um, it might maybe make increase happiness. Perhaps I know that when we were. Sorry, I'm just pouring myself a drink. When we were uh, in the tutorial building the ship, it really dropped everyone's happiness quite a bit. So, hey, there we go. That's a really impressive impressive graphic just for saying we've got a tool made. Uh, here we go. School. Raises new peeps to increase your population once the initial few from the shelter have all found homes. Ah, right. Okay. So, I mean, that is an important building then. And that probably... Oh, it's a two-square one. That's a shame. That would go really well there in the middle. Um, like, like we did with the library. I suppose we could move the library... Uh, where's the library? Library. You can only have one of these per island. So what I'm tempted to do is actually demolish the library. And readjust it over to here. Right into the town centre, pretty much. There we go. And then the school. Need a library on the island to get... Okay, that's fine. So when the, when the library's rebuilt, we'll bring the... Um, We'll bring the school down here. That would that would kind of make sense and keep this sort of almost like a town square going, you know. The school could go here as well, actually, but no, no, it's too close to the... Oh, it's... I think if we put the school here, it's just out of the pollution range of the... of the, uh... thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that seems like a good spot for a school there. Just out of reach of the pollution. Of the uh, thingy there. Excuse me, my dog's got a pen. Got a lot messier than it actually is. Just chewed a pen up. Uh, okay, so iron is coming in now. Yeah, that's good. Creating iron bars. Is it making its way to the toolsmith? Waiting for resources. This is the only problem. It's it's a bit of a way to get to it. I'm tempted. We're really we're starting to run out of forest here. Unless they regrow. Oh, it looks like they regrow. Maybe first tool made. Hurrah! There we go. We have supplies there, so as long as these supplies sort of keep up to date. Let's see how often it takes somebody to get a, to get a wood in there. I don't know whether it's 
whether they're only going to move wood there when they when they need it, or if they're going to keep on top of it, like, and take an extra one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they keep on top of it. Okay, that's great. So that means we don't have to worry about that. That means we're going to get some tools generated. That's a cool building, isn't it, that one? Look at that. What's that? That's the iron... Iron. That's really great. Great art style. Really great art style. Really digging it. Sort of like low poly, but like really nicely painted textures. That's awesome. Right. So the other thing we unlocked was the uh, was the fruits, uh, the, the vegetables, excuse me, and tea as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, did I just click to place one of those then? No. Okay. What else have we got here? Bridge can crop a can cro crosses a gap between two tiles cannot be placed above a building or a forest. Two tiles of equal height. Oh, like there. Okay, that why why would that be useful? Like the odd time you've got one spot of water there, you need to use a bridge, or like there you can use it. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem particularly useful, but um, yeah, you want that. There you go. Once a bone, so apologies if there's uh, noises in the background. Um, okay, so veggie field and tea field. I think we probably need to work on those. Now, how do we feel about pollution? Uh, production will be slowed by pollution, right. So we want to make sure these aren't anywhere near the thingy over there. So as long as we're past here, that should be fine, to be honest. Um, so I think I think we can do... Rosemary's place next to porch, shelters, or other... Oh, that's a shame. That, that well kind of... Almost creates a dead end, doesn't it? It's not ideal. Maybe maybe that well has to come away then, and we'll... Uh, if we do a road here, it gives us those four spaces to play with, If we, as long as we get rid of that. So yeah, I think, I think the well's going to have to go. Yes. We'll also get rid of you to put the well there, and you as well. Okay. So you get started on all that. And we'll take you down to there. Okay, and then we'll redo well, well, well there, and then we'll do a t. We'll do two veggie fields, um, and we'll do two tea fields. There we go. There we go. That gives us a little field area, and these fields should boost these houses up a little as well, which is a nice bonus. And then, we're, uh, and then our, we're open here to carry on down there for more uh, later on. So what are we waiting? Just waiting for materials. Yeah, there we go. So you're in now. Um, and you are going to be growing. Is it just called vegetables? Right, okay. Vegetables. That's a random reference for you. Um, tea contains one of eight. Creates one per action. So we could do with another storage hut here for storing vegetables fruit and tea fruit this island lacks the fertility needed for this field all oh, right okay so we're gonna have to go and find a new one but we could do with being able to store this uh this stuff else we're not gonna have that much of it so let's go over to storage uh I, oh no not that one is it that one is it storage yeah warehouse and we'll stick a warehouse there okay so we'll take that road out a little warehouse there. Yeah, and then if we need to take the road up this way, we can get rid of that tree there and open this up and maybe lose a house there and it'll connect it all in a nice big loop. How lovely. Everyone's cracking on though. Look, they're all doing good. The only thing is they're having to wait for the elevator. So I'm, I mean, there's the, the option is maybe putting another elevator in around the back here, right? We can lose that tree. That forest has still got two trees to get to. And then we could put another elevator in there. I don't think the elevator gives pollution or noise or anything. Uh, and then ba but basically it gives people more options what to do. All right, these are all in there growing, are they? That's good. Have we got anyone who's not working? We have no idle workers, which tells me we need more uh, people. So vegetables and tea you are going to be looking after. So we've got some space for those. Sto talking of which, how are these storing? 60-60s, they're full of storage, those ones. And these are not full, so that's fine as well. We've got enough coming into those. Uh, so yeah, more houses then. Where, where do we do another set of housing? I suppose... 
Um, we can either come up this way, bearing in mind that, that we have to keep an eye on pollution. It's just that one square, isn't it? Oh, and then here as well. So we could do more housing here. Those four. And um, which which house here would we lose if we lost if we lost that house there? I'm gonna say yes to that house, and I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, that's that's part of the warehouse, isn't it? So I'm going to say, yeah, demolish that too. Okay, and then we can bring you... Uh, we're going to have to demolish some more stuff here, aren't we? I, I worry that we may be demolishing too much, but what are you going to do? So there, and you as well, I think. Yeah, and then we're going to make these four houses here. So first of all, we'll put the road in. Road. Oh, we have to do. We have to start from the other way, right? So road, road, road. And then here we can do road, 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 road. So we've got one space there for something. A well. We'll put a well there for now. And there's two that people can get to. Um, and then that can always get replaced with something else later on. But then we can do four houses here. Um, and then maybe there's you know more options for more food and stuff over this side. But then here, the pollution-wise, we're not touching there, and that's fine as well. Okay, and that should hopefully these should pop pretty good. We've now got space for 36 people. Awesome. It should give us some. Some of your people are too hungry to work. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that's these ones over here. They don't have much food near them, right? So how about some basic uh, grub nearby, just to just to kind of keep them sweet? There and there, little farming town up in the top end of town. There, look at that. Cool. Okay, what's up with you? Why? Why? What's you're unhappy? Why are you unhappy? Do you tell us why you're unhappy? Uh, bonuses, one nearby field gives us more storage. It doesn't actually tell me why they're unhappy. It's just, who, who works here? You, you work here and you're unhappy. You're happy, vegetable, heavy pollution. Where are you, where are you going where there's heavy pollution? She has a monobrow and she loves it. <laughs> Focus on you. Where are you? Is it just that you're having to come near this building here? You aren't near. You don't class as yourself as part of the the pollution. So my wonder is that you're having to walk down to this. So you've cleared all that out now, Explorer Hut. There's no more, nothing else to explore down there. So we can actually get rid of you. Yes, and you. And then there's nobody having to come anywhere near this unless they're. Uh, um, the only people who are coming down here now are people who need to come into this oh, well people walking across here as well which isn't ideal but never mind um, so we need to find some more exploring stuff because we don't we're not going to be able to do any more research are we where's the library there we have a hundred of it in stock and nothing else actually to research just yet so that's not a major problem but we are probably going to have to look at that in the future so we could probably repair you now Repair our, uh, our ship. Go. There we go. Let's see how long that takes. We should have everything we need for it. Just some wooden tools. Oh, yeah, that won't take long at all, look. One more tool is all we need. We've got 46 in stock. Here it comes. There we go. And that gets repaired. And I think, I think the ship is like a one-time use. So basically, you head out onto the sea, find a new island. And um, unhappy workers, well, just get it done. And then you won't be unhappy anymore. Wow. Okay, stage three needs a lot of stuff. We need 20, we need 30 food, 30 water. I guess this is the stuff that's going with us. This is the stuff we're taking on the ship onto the ocean seas to start a new spot. 
There we go. So that'll take a little while to fill up. Um, but otherwise, I, I feel like like it says there that everyone's happy. There's one idle worker. Everyone's keeping busy. Food's going way down because we're sticking it all on that ship. What's that? Peep resources? We haven't got there yet. Research is fine. Uh, we have... There's one tree trunk. Oh, tree trunks go to there to get turned into wood. Right, okay, that's fine. And we have eight iron ore. That's, that's, that's raw resources, that one, pretty much. Yeah, these trees are definitely regrowing, so that's fine. So, Major Tom... Here's Major Tom, the, the boat. Look at that. What a fine vessel. And in the next episode, we're going to take it on the sea and see what we can find. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give us a like. It really helps out. Until the next one, be good.